All right, today we're gonna check out how to make this simple kinetic typo here in After Effects. Step one, let's make a new composition. I gotta rename it as text. I gotta make it 1080p and four seconds. Click OK. Select the type tool. I gotta go with Panther. By the way, I chose the Passion One font. It's a free Google font you can download. I gotta go and select the selection tool, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind. So the anchor point is going to jump up in the center and I'm gonna align it perfectly to the center, press the letter S, scale it up, and I'm gonna customize the text a little bit. I'm gonna double click on it, press enter, and I'm gonna adjust the kerning it between the letters. So I'm gonna press and hold Alt, press the left arrow, so it's gonna bring it together a little bit more. Now I'm gonna customize them one by one. And now we're gonna go to the effects and presets, type in mesh warp. There it is, drag and drop on the text. And it's gonna create these grid lines. So we're gonna to need to decrease these. So we got the rows, I'm gonna to need to decrease it by two. So it's gonna make one line here and we're gonna decrease the columns all the way to four. And I'm gonna activate the stopwatch at the distortion mesh. So this is gonna be the default and I'm gonna bring this to the 20th frame. And from here, we're gonna go up here to this little corner, click on it. So this is an anchor point, press and hold shift. Let's go here to the center, click on this anchor point. It's gonna select both of them and we're also gonna select this bottom one. And now we can pull it. So as you can see, it's gonna distort it. Now I'm gonna to go to the 10th frame and I'm gonna select the horizontal anchor points, press and hold shift, select the horizontals and I'm gonna bring it down. Now let's go to the second second here and I'm gonna select the vertical again, three anchor points. And let's drag this to the left. I'm gonna go to the 20th frame, horizontal anchor points again. And let's bring it up. Now I'm gonna go to the 10th frame. And what I'm gonna do is select the Panther text, press the letter U, so it's gonna highlight these keyframes right here. And I'm gonna select the first keyframe, press Control C. And let's go here to the 10th frame, press Control V, so it's gonna go back to normal. I'm gonna select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. Now it's gonna go more smoother, but we're gonna need to make this even more dynamic. So I'm gonna go and click on the graph editor. And I'm gonna click on the anchor point and I'm gonna pull the handle to the left. So it's gonna look something like this. And I'm gonna do the same thing with the rest. I'm gonna select this anchor point, press and hold shift. I also gonna select the third and the fourth and the fifth. And let's pull these handles and, I, and it's gonna go all of them together. Click on play. There you go. Now it's really nice. And mainly this was it. Thanks for watching.